Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlifts and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be spending 8 hours of my day in the metaverse, in Decentraland. I want to see if it's possible and viable to actually do my daily tasks such as meetings, emails, all these kind of things that I need to do to make sure that I can exist in the metaverse as it currently stands. I have a feeling we're going to have some shortfalls, but we won't know until we try. And that's what I'll be doing in this video and I'll be giving you feedback and taking you along my journey. In today's video, we are going to be having some fun. As everyone knows, I'm busy building with a beautiful team, Eden Lands, a metaverse that's built by developers for the people. It's going to be an open source metaverse, so check it out. It's going to be coming out this year. This is the Twitter page and this is the official website. But for this video, I'm going to be doing something special. But first of all, what is a metaverse? While doing a quick Google search, we can see that it's a shared 3D virtual universe. Basically, in layman's terms, it's for you and I as people to get together in a digital world. The ideal metaverse would be like the movie Ready Player One, where the user is immersed in a world where there's tangible objects and all these things around you. NFTs make it possible for us to own digital assets now, so I guess we are a step closer. Currently, there's not a lot of metaverses on the market that's actually working. One of the ones that's actually out there that you can play around in is the central land. And this is the metaverse of choice because I do own some land in this metaverse. I'm going to be setting up my office here and then see if it's feasible for me to spend a full working day in the metaverse, see if I can get around doing basic tasks such as meetings, sending emails and all these types of things. I know there are going to be some shortfalls, but I want to test it out and see how much fun it will be and how viable it is for me to do my work inside of this beautiful environment. If you want to create something in one of these metaverses, usually you will have to acquire a piece of land. I have acquired a piece of land and I'm now in the central lands builder. I'm going to use this builder to set up myself a nice office building and then create myself a desk where I can be in for the duration of the day. I will also explore the metaverse, but let's get building first and see how beautiful we can make the office. Okay, so this took me longer than expected, but I managed to build out my office. And uh, what's great about the metaverse is it doesn't have to make structurally sense at all. So I've set up myself a hammock as well as a tree and a desk because that's where I'll be working. Now, I've built this and now we're going to jump in the metaverse just to test it out. And then on Thursday, I'll be spending a full day in this building. Here we go. This is my office in Decentraland. There's my desk, my hammock, and the lips. Now, the purpose of this is going to see if I can do my daily tasks in my building, in my office, as I usually do. So I'm going to record the process and let you know if it's feasible. I kind of get the feeling that it might be a bit boring and lonely in here but we'll see i'll also end up exploring definitely want to see what that building is over there but i'll record the process so let's get going good morning so it is 9 a.m here in south africa currently i'm heading over to the central land because our day is about to start i'm going to be spending the whole day in this building and exploring a bit around but I think before we get started, I think there's some things I have to say that we have to consider. I don't see any way for me to communicate with friends outside of Decentraland unless I send a friend request, get them in here 
and then chat to them. So I will unfortunately be making use of emails throughout the day to get people in here that I need to have meetings with. But that being said, I think uh, that is something that will be implemented in the future. Keep in mind, Decentraland is a game-based experience. So it's understandable that there's no emails in here. This is not a business hub. But needless to say, let's go up to the office that I've built and check that out. This is the office that I'll need to be spending my time in today. I've got a nice desk to sit behind, so essentially I'll just be chilling behind it if I can get there. Now, already just sitting here for even two seconds, I realized that eight hours is a long time to be spending behind this desk where there's nothing to do. I can probably play a movie on the screen, but that also needs to be set up. Well, the office has some nice features. I've got a hammock, so I can probably be chilling here most of the day. Or I can uh, go and have a little barbecue here on the side. But needless to say, I can already see that for using this as my office is going to be very, very tough. I probably need to get some people in here to have a meeting with. So usually what I do in the mornings, I've got meetings with various teams to build metaverses, to run sketchy labs, to run hash lips, and all these kind of uh, people I need to talk to throughout the day. So that's going to be my first mission, but I unfortunately have to go and get people on uh, email to come into Decentraland. But instead of us doing meetings right now, let's get people in here. I decided to post out a tweet. So now we just wait and see if someone's going to find us. Let's go back. And let's maybe walk around. I've enabled the sound so you might hear a lot of footsteps and maybe music. Uh, but that's for the purpose if someone joins, they could, we can actually have a chat. So just exploring a little bit more. Uh, Decentraland allows you to uh, add some of your NFTs. By the way, this is not a sponsored video by any means. I just love this metaverse. Um, all together so check my cool earring um, all right so let me go and click on this and show you so if you click on one of these nfts it actually brings up a nice for sale page that you can check it out and open see which i think is pretty cool um, so yeah no one is joining us how sad Let's give it a little bit of time. In the meantime, let's go and check out these goldfish. As you can see, a lot of people don't build on uh, their plots. They mainly keep it for investment purposes. Or they build cool things. Here's some treasure. Oh, wow. There's a treasure map. Can we click on this? No. I found this beautiful wooden Eiffel Tower which I think is pretty creative. Um, you can just see all the trees being cut down. It, it really sends a kind of a strong message as well, I guess. And this plot has a little strange animal that's moving around. So it just shows you that Decentraland really has done a great job in gamifying your plots and you know, you're able to create some kind of gamification as well. Much like Sandbox is doing Oh wow, what's that glowing thing over there? Gotta check it out right now. Let's check this out. Oh nice. It's like a glowing luminous building. Around the outside. Oh, what was that? Oh, so music plays. Well, that's quite interesting. So... The music plays as soon as you enter through this boom box over there. Now I know Decentraland has some dance moves. I believe you press B. And then we can dance. Hey, done dancing. I'm back at my office just to check if uh, anyone has come by. 
think I need to email my team members to come and have a meeting right now. But let's check it out. I mean, I've been in the metaverse now for approximately 40 minutes and um, yeah, I've been exploring around. I've not gotten much work done. This is too fun to explore. There's a, uh, oh, my cat just came in. That looks like a maze over there. How did I miss that? So we back at the office after I lost my friend. Here's another person, which is a part of the sketchy community, which is pretty cool. The sketchy labs. But yeah, I'm back at the office. I lost. I lost the new friend I made. I did get a friend request, so let me add them. Already making friends and he's online. Pretty cool. Gatamoto is here with me. And I see someone walking far in the distance over there. All right, but this was quite fun. Um, I'm back alone in the office apparently, so it's time for me to try and have my meeting. So I'm going to try and schedule at least a constructive meeting around uh, our metaverse or around the Hashlips open source code that we are busy with right now. So let me go and get Marco on board. Oh, Mandrel, hey. Yo. <laughs> I'm at the office. Oh, my name is Armadillo. But, um, and that's kind of what's cool about um, crypto boxes is you can just like load things in. Well, you can't load things in, but you can like you know, you can play them. Um, I've been working with this metaverse that's uh, it's geared for live events, like concerts. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's got really good audio in it. And like you can have like 250 people in the same space. Yeah, I mean, there's so many metaverses. I mean, we also building a, a version of a metaverse with interoperable kind of spaces. Uh, it's called Eden Land, so it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's just ugh, we're having so much fun. You know, what can you do in this space? I believe like, yeah, I mean, the team coming in now, they're probably going to talk about the market crashes and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, I believe in times like right. these, you should just innovate, right? Like stick to your guns, innovate. Yeah, for sure. It's the perfect time for artists. Absolutely. And not rush into anything. Um, what's the engine that you guys are, like what kind of uh, like engine and stuff are the graphics for Eden? Uh, oh, Eden Lands? Eden? Yeah, Eden Lands uh, without the D. So just Eden Lands. Well, we're actually going to be um, make it, making it uh, in 3JS mostly. So purely for the web. And uh, then we'll see, we'll, we'll slowly transition if we need like a Unity game engine to go with that. But for the most part, we're trying to keep it open source enough for anyone to spin up the metaverse, um, you know, and just rectify it if it goes down and uh, not having to pay any, you know, fees uh, if we use Unity or something in that case. I mean... Nice. I'm hearing some footsteps. I think this is one of our team members coming up here. This might be Marco or Dushko. This metaverse thing for me is, hey, how's it going? Dushko, Marco, who's behind the profile? You can just press T, man, or hold T and talk. I don't know if you can talk, but I can't, I can't add him as a friend or whatever. Oh, you can't hear me, that's right. <laughs> oh, you can't hear us, yeah. I still want to know who this guest okay. is. Have I designed like a stupid building? This is a little tight. Let, let's gather all down here and then I'm going to show you guys how to come up here. So slowly walk up these stairs. Hold shift. What the, let me check the time. How much time have I spent in here right now? Yeah, a while ago. Yeah, looks like it. Fancy. I think we should still be heading south. I'm seeing a lot of these green loading icons, I guess. I think there are loading icons. This looks quite cool. Looks like a sound wave, which you can walk into. 
a mirror. I find myself now in uh, what looks like Egypt or something. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if everyone here is collaborating on making this look like the desert, but it looks pretty nice. I have to be honest, I had to take care of some emails and an emergency call. But apart from that, I've been in the metaverse for quite some time right now. Let's refresh this and see. Yep, it's almost two o'clock and uh, I've been exploring the central land. At some point, if I keep on going south, I don't see any buildings or anything really loading. But I want to stretch it as far as I can and go south as much as possible. I'm just not sure where it will end. Well, this looks like the end on the map, at least. What happens if we run off the map? Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I certainly don't want to be on the edge of the map. Oh, geez, I'm all the way here. I think it's time we go and explore some of these big places. Vegas Plaza. Yeah. Let's jump in here. Let's go and check that out. Vegas Plaza, baby. Nice. Check this beautiful big hamburger. So far, you know, playing in Decentraland, I don't see any lag really. Oh, we got some credits over here. I have no idea what that's for. Maybe we can redeem some tickets. Hmm. Feels quite lonely in the metaverse, I must say. But let's not give up on this yet. I want to see if we can use these tickets, maybe at this big crystal. Here's some kind of entrance. Can't get in there. Now I really want to get in there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Collect three keys. Yeah. Well, I guess we have no option. We have to collect these keys. Which this is already one. Are they spread around here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first mission, collecting some keys. We already have one. I must say I, I wasn't expecting that. But now this is quite exciting. In my search for the keys, I've just managed to hop into this car and now we are taking a drive. This is totally unintentional. I just left it pause quickly to read something and then when I unpaused the game, I was in a car. So maybe this could take us to the keys. By the way, I've been searching for some of the keys for quite a while now. It's quite difficult to find. So I guess this will be our best route. This is taking us all over the place. Uh, but we're not going to stay in here. But it's quite cool that you can get in. I've been in that building. Where could these keys be? I mean, if you're watching this right now and you've tried finding these keys, let me know. I have no idea where they are located or if I'm even in the right place to find them still. But I guess it's pointless at this stage because I've, I've tried everything. It's probably not because the keys, they don't appear here on my screen anymore. So I think this is actually a failed mission right now. I think we should definitely get in this. 
Um, but what I was about to say is, I think it's a failed mission because I don't think we're in that game zone anymore. Oh, wow. Quite high up here. If you are afraid of heights, don't look down. But we're not. Is that a roller coaster or something? Oops. Okay, our key mission is over. I think for my next, uh, I guess my next venture is going to be to find some people. So the best way of doing that is going to the map and seeing there's some people over here playing poker. And I want this to be a video about gambling. So let's see what this is. Wonder mine. Yes. Let's go to the wonder mine. Here in the wonder zone, looks like it. And I cannot talk to anyone because the voice chat's down. I can chat, but that's about it. And there's a lot of people here. So I would actually love to chat to everyone. Everyone's just running around. And then there are these big meteorites that fall out of the sky every now and then and if you click on mine we are actually mining some geez i might need to just mute the site for a bit all right you've got some loot all right we've got a sapphire and some copper maybe we should collect these collect why can't I collect this sapphire? There's a lot of people here that looking pretty cool, but they're just standing around. So. Oh, check out this glowing person. Well, there's some more meteorites. So I guess we can mine this too. I'm not sure what we are mining. But as you can see from the map, there's a tremendous amount of people here in this one location. So this is obviously something, something big. All right, so the hunt is on for us to find some people. Now, I hope it's not too weird running around and trying to find people in the metaverse. As you can see, it's quite empty. Um, you can see there's a few people here, but Maybe we should go to the Genesis Plaza. Here is someone. So let's go and check that out. And go and say hi. Oh wow. What the hell's this thing? Never be satisfied. Let's try and talk to this guy. Oh man, but this robot's super irritating. Okay, so there's someone dancing here. Let's go and find out what's happening. Let's just dance with them. I know the moves. Let's find out if they want to have a chat. Hey, how's it going? Oh man, this is so creepy. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yannex? 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 Hey! What's up, man? Busy doing a YouTube video. Just wanted to come and say hi. Oh, there's a few people here. Finally, we found some. We found like a lot of people all of a sudden. Can uh, someone explain to me how this works? It's understandable, but check this cool grandpa, man. He's uh, swagged out. Cut the trees. Perfect. We'll do that. So, um, basically, we've made some friends. We'll chat to them a bit more now. They said I must start cutting trees. Oh, okay, I get that. So mining some rock. Okay, resources. Then you can craft gear. Did, did you actually make this game? Oh, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, it depends on all what they're using. But um, I'm pretty sure people at my team... They definitely know how to do that, so it could potentially help you guys out. So yeah, um, I think database migration should be easy. It just just depends on what um, DB you guys are using. Man, I've been 
enjoying this uh, very much. So Yannakus or Yannakus, I don't know how, how you say that. Uh, he's going to refresh and then he's going to come back and then we're going to check out their database issue. And, um, you know, I wasn't expecting this at all. Just dived into this plain thing, but it just shows you the opportunities in the metaverse right now. I'm by no means a backend developer um, by right. I have just developed some backends before, but who knows? Maybe we can help them out. Maybe I can get some of our backend team members in the chat as well. So I'll wait for him and see if we can help them out. It's probably not going to be in the metaverse. We're probably going to have to go outside of it. So let's see. So after that chat with that amazing person that I've just met, they are actually building a game in Decentraland. So that's pretty cool. And this is the type of stuff that I see that people can actually do in the metaverse, like networking. I cannot do my emails. It's been a very tough day for me and I have to... I cannot lie, I did go back and forth between my emails and chats to kind of get people together. We had some meetings, I met some people in here, I tried to spend most of my day inside the metaverse and it was tiring to say the least, but fun. Decentraland's obviously a gamified version of a metaverse and it's supposed to be fun. It's not meant for you to be working in it yet. So I have to give them the benefit of the doubt of making this game and this metaverse purely beautiful. I highly recommend checking it out, um, but it's been a long day for me. It's now five o'clock and I'm tired, so <laughs> I'm going to get off this video. But as a feedback and as a general feel for what I've experienced is that it's totally feasible to have some fun in this metaverse, but not work in it yet. Okay, and let's greet everyone before we leave. So thank you so much for watching everyone in the video. Have an amazing day. And it was a pleasure spending eight hours of my day in Decentraland. Have a good day. Cheers for now.